I'm just cutting the gaskets for the cylinder end caps. That's a cylinder end cap, I think. <laughs> I'm slowly getting there on the names. Uh, the piston goes in there, and inside that goes graphite grease. Uh, graphite yarn, not grease. I've actually put some in there, but I've taken the piston out again, so I'm going to have to redo it. Anyway, I put it down on the gasket material, and then I can't see because I haven't got my right glasses on. Now I have, so I put it down on the gasket material and I cut a square out at roughly the right size, it doesn't really matter. Now I haven't got a, a hole punch, I haven't got a centre punch, I haven't got any kind of punch apart from the stuff that I get in the face quite regularly. Why is the camera not straight? Oh that's annoying. There, the camera's straight. Now, on this one, you see there's a recess there that goes into the cylinder. So, if I get that near enough in the middle, and then I put firm pressure down on the middle, and then I can rock it from side to side in all four directions, very carefully, because otherwise it don't bloody well work. And then what you're left with, you can't see it very well, focus you. F you can't see it very well, but there's an imprint there of that bit in the middle. So now I'm going to cut that out with a scalpel. Here's a scalpel. So I'm going to cut that out And this is not going to be perfect because I oh know I've gone out a bit. Oh, I haven't. Oh shit, I haven't done enough. Well, what the hell's going on there? That was meant to be perfect. It isn't, oh dear. So I'll get my scalpel. <laughs> What's this in fo- oh it is in focus. My uh, right leg has been particularly bad today. <laughs> it's really doing my head in. And I think I might get this knife and just chop it off. Near enough perfect. So, the next job is to cut the holes out. I've got a pen. Here's a pen. Quite literally. See, if I had a hole punch, this would be much easier. But I haven't. I've only got tools that I've got. And I ain't got a hole punch, so I can't use one. I'm out. Oh. You see, because these are, these are handmade, it's, it's easier to use a, like a witness mark on there. So if I put a line on there and a line on there, I know that that's where it goes. So then I'll take that off. And then I cut them out with a knife. Here's a knife. I'm going to cut it out now. Oh yeah, if anyone thinks that I'm doing this wrong and there's an easier way or a better way or anything, if there's a better way to do it, drop a comment below. And there you go, there's the gasket. So now I can line that back up there, and there it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it on the steam engine, which I've had to dismantle again. Uh, where's the witness marks on that? There. Which I've got to cut the bottom piece. One of two ways you could do this now. You could either install it and then cut the gasket to size, or you can cut the gasket to size and then install it. There's no proper way of doing it. Well, this is my way anyway. So if I go round here, it's going to end badly. I'm not going to do this. I need to cut the bottom bit off because 
This is thick gasket material, it's one mil thick. Um, I don't know why it's so thick, but I got to put the gasket material on that came off. I've got loads of others, but not this thick. This is going to end badly in it. I shouldn't be doing it like this. Never cut towards yourself, Tony, because you'll take your fingers off your dickhead. Okay, I won't do it. I'll never cut towards me because that's a stupid thing to do. Yeah, okay. There you go. The gasket is made. <laughs> if anyone says cutting gaskets is hard, it bloody well isn't. You've just got to know my way of doing it. Your way might be better. I don't give a shit. So now I can put that on there. Like that. I'll get me bolt, nut, screw. I know these aren't authentic and I, yes I do need to get some bolts for this to make it look authentic, which I will do, but I'm skinned. So I ain't. Uh, when, I, when I get some when I get some dollars I'll, I'll buy some proper ones. I'm still waiting for the stainless to come in. I've ordered a piece of stainless steel to cover this. The cork obviously is on it, but I need some stainless. Because that's what was on it, so that's what's going on it. Right, so what I'll do... Yeah, I don't know if I can lift it up. Yes I can. What I'm going to do now is torque them up to uh, three. <laughs> yeah, so you do that one, then that one, and then that one. Or is it that one? That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. So you do the opposites to pull it down evenly. Can anyone spot the mistake? <laughs> oh dear. Right, so the first thing you do is put the piston in. Oh, incidentally, I've changed the... Uh, Focus you f I've changed the whatever it was. I think it was like a thread or a yarn of some kind. I, I've ch I put graphite um, Yarn on there and it seals a hell of a lot better. Incidentally while I'm doing this up the uh, the, the wheels that you can buy for um, For a Dremel which are basically scotch bright wheels uh, Be careful where you use those I noticed that um, everywhere that I was going, I got all this the, the fine powder. Uh, uh, what am I talking about? And I couldn't understand where the hell it was coming from. It was like dust everywhere. Um, yes, it's those things. They spread like wildfire. It just goes absolutely everywhere. Right, so they're loosely torqued. So I'm going to torque them down to six, uh, which is... So this is this is one. So that's one, and then I'm going to go straight to six. Just make sure they're all at the same torque of six, which they are. So that's done. Oh, that is so smooth, it's unreal, and it's got massive amount of compression. So that's that done. And now I've got to put the... What's that? The one on the end of the piston, the little end. Little end bearing, I'll screw that back in there, hopefully that will... Right, and then that comes around there, and that goes on there, and then the bolt goes through. Oh, come on, you motherfucker! And then that one goes on there, like that, and then the screw goes on there, and these are so fiddly. I need I need to work on bigger ones because my fingers are too fat. 
Oh, lovely. You can actually hear the compression. The play in the main bearings, that's near enough gone. There is still a bit of play, but I'm, I'm not going to get rid of it, like I say. It's virtually impossible for me to get rid of it all, purely because I haven't got the equipment to do it. Anyway, I'm going to go and start working on the boiler now. Um, and do some soil soldering. Like that. Oh, I'm so proud of that. <laughs> if I had a lathe, that would be absolutely perfect, but... Look at that, I did that, I'm proud of that, silver, silver soldering.